Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here back with the iPad 4th generation. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the performance of the new A6X chip and how it compares with the A5X chip found in the 3rd generation iPad. So to do this we're going to be using the Geekbench 2 application. And according to this application, the A6X chip is clocked in at about 1.4 GHz and I've also brought on the iPhone 5 just for reference and that A6 chip is clocked in at 1.3 GHz. So let's go ahead and run the benchmarks for both of these devices. Now according to Apple, the A6X chip should double the performance of the iPad 3rd generation. So uh, with my iPad 3rd generation, I usually got a score of around 790 to low 800s. So in order to live up to Apple's claims, hopefully we'll get a score of around 1600 or higher. So it looks like with the iPad 4th generation, we got a score of 1,773, so that does live up to Apple's claims. And then with the iPhone 5, you got a score of 1,643. So I think the difference in uh, performance between the iPhone 5 and the iPad 4th generation is just a result of the higher clock speed of the A6X chip. As I said earlier, it's at 1.4 GHz, while the A6 chip in the iPhone 5 is just at 1.3. Now on the graphics side of things, the A6X chip has quad-core graphics just like the A5X, but there's also performance gains there as well. Online tests are showing that the uh, A6X chip gets about 15 to 100% improved graphics performance in certain tests over the A5X. So hopefully app developers, uh, especially those that make games, will be able to take advantage of that and make some awesome looking graphics. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you guys later.